Okay, so we're gonna start this underskirt pattern today with this beautiful silk taffeta that I found at a thrift store. It's purple, but it has like a gold iridescence to it. It's just lovely. First, I start with getting all my pattern pieces. As I've made this before, I have it all cut out to size E and I just have a modified waistband that I usually do for it. I don't like the skirt to be overly voluminous, so I don't uh, cut it out as per the instructions. My measurements would put me at probably a G, but I think I've got it as either an E or an F on this one. So you have a back piece, a side back, a side front, and a front piece, as well as the ruffle and a waistband. I add pockets into this skirt just so that you can put your stuff in. So let's get us on the floor and get our fabric out, get the pattern pieces on it, and cut it out. I've sped this up quite a bit because this is a very long process. I always feel that cutting out the fabric is half of the work of actually assembling a garment, especially a skirt. I'm cutting out the waistband right now and if you look, I've cut it about two inches longer than the pattern piece is. It is cut out as an F and what I've done is I've made it so that it's long enough for me to wear without a corset. I make it a bit longer in the waistband, uh, gather it up in the same way, just I determined that I can wear it with a corset and put a second set of hook and bars for corseted measurements and a second set for uncorseted so I can wear it as history bounding. The next and last pattern piece that I have is the ruffle. The ruffle is five on the fold and it does waste quite a bit of fabric if you have wide fabric like I do. The pattern is set for a 44 to 45 inch wide. Mine was more like 54. So I have quite a bit on the ends that is essentially unusable for this, unless I wanted to make some other short ruffles, 
which spoiler alert I do end up having to make some extra ruffles in the back well cutting out those ruffles on the ground was just not working for me so I've moved up to my cutting table where I have room to deal with the ruffle a little bit easier when I'm cutting out the very large pattern pieces of the skirt panels it makes more sense for me to do it on the floor but I do have enough room when I'm doing the small stuff on my table so I've got my pattern weights down and I will cut out five of these ruffles on the fold as I mentioned before my cutting table is great I can use my rotary cutter makes the job much faster much easier on my hands too now on to the journey let's call it of ironing now this silk is actually really good to iron it irons well much better than a polyester variant um, like a polyester satin will burn and make scorch marks as you can see it it does work and makes it more of a lighter purple I would say but as it dries from the steam and it dries from the heat it goes back to that original purple it's just not going to be as wrinkly so this is my journey kind of sped up as to all of the pieces getting straight again from here we just match up all of the pattern pieces together all of your fronts with your sides with your side backs with your back and all I did with mine is a bit of a more modern feel just surged the edges and I stitched it lastly you want to attach your skirt with your waistband making sure that you either gather or pleat the back section to fit the waistband and for me my waistband was an extra few inches giving me more room for adjustment so I made the skirt pleats in the back to fit my uncorseted waist and will use the extra um, that I have to take up with hooks so here it is on the mannequin it doesn't really fit the mannequin all that well compared to me but here it is anyways you'll see the extra ruffle on the underside of the skirt I've added this to kind of cover up the petticoat that I have underneath of it and give it more train feel to it to go with my polonaise. 